Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the program I promised you earlier in the tutorials of Python with files. Um, although before we start I'm going to tell you this is the last tutorial that we're going to make for Python that actually is like along with everything else. Um, I may go over like WX Python and Pygame if you guys want that, but um, this will most likely probably be the last Python tutorial in this list. If not, the list will keep going, so you know. Yeah. Anyways, um, so to do this, we're just going to get started right away. What we're going to do is uh, enclose this in a while loop. So we're going to say while one, just so as long as um, one is equal to one, this will run. That way, for example, if you want to delete the contents of a file, write to it, read what you wrote, and then rewrite anything that you want to change you'll be able to do that without having to restart the program each time. So while one, and then we're going to make uh, a object or variable called path, and that's going to be equal to raw underscore uh, input. And then here we're just going to say enter the path name of the file and extension and then backslash n and then we'll do three arrows just for looks and then we'll do op and this will be equal to uh, int raw input that way this will be easier for the user so raw input and then we'll say one dot um oops why is that thing still up there go away all right so we'll make the first one delete file and then we'll have um, a new line then we'll have number two and that will be uh, write to file then we'll have three which will be our last and that will be uh, read from file. And now that we have that, we can start actually adding the functionality. So we do if and then uh, op is equal to one and then colon. We're going to say make um, delete, make that um, function or whatever you want to call it and that will be equal to um, open and then inside of there path comma a this way we are allowed to oops do I spell that right no I did not okay thought there was an error anyways so delete equals open path and then a and this will just allow us to delete and the path will be the path that they entered up here so that we can um, delete it <coughs> excuse me and then from there we will say print delete in now dot 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 and then here we will say delete dot truncate and then print complete All right yeah and then we will close this because if we don't we're going to get an error that will make probably no sense and then if I then we're going to make an elif op is equal to two so I'll just go over this real fast delete is the path line uh, is the file and the um, what we're allowed to do with the file and then print just says we're deleting it now delete dot truncate actually deletes the file that is in the path the user entered and then print complete just prints complete to the screen and close closes the file so all changes we made actually count just so if they try to um, make a uh, 
like change to it, delete, and then write, and then read, something like that, it'll actually make the changes. So then in here, we're going to make a new one, and since number two is writing, we're going to say, uh, I don't know, let's say info, and that will be equal to, actually, let's make this so it's a better name, let's just do uh, data, and that will be equal to um, open, then path, comma, and then since this is writing, we're going to put W. And now we're going to say, um, we're going to make a new one, and this will be info. And that will be equal to uh, raw input. And we'll say uh, input the text and data here to add to the file. Uh, period backslash n dot dot dot. I am not dot dot dot. Arrow, arrow, arrow. And then we'll get rid of that. Like, there we go. That little backspace thing was bothering me. And, anyways, now we should be able to do um, some more to this. So now that they input whatever they're doing, we'll just print. Um, opening dot 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 and then here we will say uh, data dot write and then here we'll just put info so what that will do is just go into the uh, data which is the file and then take info which is what they inputted and then write it to the file then we'll print, uh, print complete and then we'll uh, close the file so that we don't have to make them open and close the uh, program a whole bunch of times then we'll go into this one and say elif option three which is going to be our last one other than the last else statement and since this is reading we're just going to say well the reading option we're going to say reading is the uh, file and that will be equal to um, open path with the uh, mode of R so we can read it and then here we will say print opening file period and then there we go and we'll do oh we need a backslash n here so that everything doesn't end up on the same line and then we'll do reading dot uh, read and now of course you guys know that we can just um, always do we can make it so instead of having uh, one second instead of having it read the entire file we can have it read the lines or just certain parts of the file and we could have them enter that in through input and have that variable stored in there and all that stuff so this is just kind of the basic thing and I'll actually show you something after this that you guys may have not known and then for the last else statement we'll just say print um, critical Uh, error or invalid option. Given that since this is a uh, program that I know, scripting language that is uh, like compiled on runtime, if there's an error, it's just going to crash. So critical error isn't really true. Anyway, so save it so that we have um, test.py. Already had the file ready here but as you can see test.py and just to satisfy save and now if we open this up we'll get enter the path name of the file and extension and then arrow 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 so what I was going what I'm going to show you that um, you guys may have not have known before is that you can actually uh, 
write a Python file from this. So we'll do Python file.py. So using a, a Python program that we've made, we're going to make a Python program. So we press enter. Why do we have a heart there? That makes no sense. Looks like we uh, messed something up in here. So, do 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 do. Oh, slash three. Apparently, it makes a character. I did not know that. What do you know? Learn something every day. So, slash n. So, if they don't try to make a heart and then uh, save that, and then we should get this. Alright, so you just give them the uh, path that whatever you want to work with is located. And then we'll have that python file.py. And now we'll write to the file using two. Also, if you guys wanted to, you could put a space at the end of that so that the um, uh, file is like, I mean, the numbers down here or a little bit further away or maybe arrows, whatever. Press enter and then it'll say input the text and data here to add to the file. And if you look here, I actually have the Python file made now. And I'll show you that it's empty. Edit with aisle. Completely empty. And so what we're going to do is print hello world. Oops, since this is going to be directly into Python, we have to put parentheses. Hello world, comma, and then backslash n, which will actually work, trust me. And then, um, I don't know, let's do something. Uh, let's make a variable x equal to hello and then new line print x and press enter so the opening complete and it's past the name blah, 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 blah. and then it, we can actually read from the file if we want to so just enter in the path again so that we can see how this works and this is kind of fun too if you want to mess with this I mean just a fun little Python program to mess with. It's not really practical, I guess. Oh, oops, I think I um, entered that in wrong. My bad, I'm just going to say delete, and then that's going to crash it because it doesn't actually exist, and then actually it made it. Man, having a bad day. Uh, okay, so for the path, we'll just do da da da, users slash Kurt because he's awesome desktop slash python file dot pi and now we'll read from the file and it'll say hmm oh well, well you know there was actually an error in there oops editing the wrong file there um, our python program actually has an error down here we want to print read okay save now if we go in here sorry guys it's kind of embarrassing slash users kurt slash desktop slash python file dot pi all right read and we get print hello world slash n x is equal to hello backslash and print x um, so we close this if we open this up oops um, oops unlike a ah, text file that actually the backslash n didn't do what it was supposed to so probably have to write to it a few times but anyways as you see here all of that is good and ready so if we run it we get hello world hello and so yeah that's just how you're going to um, make a program with Python probably one of the most useful ones you've made and one last time there is the uh, code to it if you guys want to take a look 
And so, yeah, sorry about all those errors and stuff, but yeah. Thanks again for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for future videos, and I will be seeing you guys later.